Okay. The first thing you need to do is remove the switch, the gas pedal. This was originally on like this. You can just cut those out and get rid of all three. It's like that. So that went there and they led up into here, into your relays up here. So here the orange was connected. This would go all the way lead to your positive on your battery here. And then this red would have gone into the relay here in the gearbox. We cut it there. So going back to the relay now, once that's removed and you've left the left ends there, you can see using our relay here, we just installed it in a, in a good location. And the top one, which would be number 87, I'll show you here, it's this red line. We ran it down and this goes and connects to that red line that you cut out of your switch, which was your common. Okay. It goes directly into it that. It goes right power. into that relay right there. Perfectly, yeah. Okay, back onto the relay here. We'll go here with number 85. So 85 goes directly in to your positive on your battery. Since there's two that go to the positive, we've spliced it here and both of them come out here. So you can see how that, that splice in there and that's in there. So the, the other one down here at the bottom, which is number 30, that once again goes into that splice and goes directly into your positive on your battery. That used to be this line right here on our pigtail on our switch, right? But once you took that out, we don't need it. So you can see that's that same wire. We cut it and we just looped it around and took it into our, our relay on number position 30. And then the last one, number 86 here, <clears throat> on the relay runs all the way along the car and in this case we decided to put the switch up here the jack where the gas pedal was so it would go right there and that goes into either one doesn't matter since it's a mono jack so that goes right in there and soldered in there which takes us to our last wire which is the other side black so you can probably guess where that goes but it runs from your switch your jack all the way down here it comes out there there's where we splice into the existing and it comes up into your negative for on your battery so right, it's spliced here only because there are other negative wires that lead to the other relay so we had to splice in so we um we're in there and we're spliced up and it goes into the negative and that is the entire layout of this system. So you should be able to put now any jack and using the relay, you should go in like that and here, any uh, switch I mean, you should go into your jack. And I'll come back here to the tire so you can see, but as I depress this, now it goes. And your gear should still work up here. So if I switch the gear here, Go there, and now it should go in reverse. Okay, yeah. Reverse there. And we're able to do that because we use that relay, which closes that um, switch using the magnetic. So the high um, 12 volt battery, which was burning out the low voltage switches, is no longer done because we use that 40 amp automotive relay. And that's it, that's how it's done.